Church is not realizing that what we are believing for thousands of years can happen any time from now. Can I give you some information? Yes. Now concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him. What is that? We ask you brothers not to be quickly shaken in mind. Do you know 2 Thessalonians was written because 1 Thessalonians Paul's letter had alarmed the church. That is why he wrote Second Thessalonians, saying, "Look, don't be alarmed. Don't be quickly shaken. Okay, either by spirit or a spoken word or a letter seeming to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come." So that's what I told you in the beginning. There was a lie going on that the day of the Lord has already happened, and there will be a lie that will say the day of the Lord is not now; it's going to be later. both are parts of a spirit that wants to deceive you i'll explain that to you why if there is a lie that it has already happened and if there is a thought that it is not now both are part of a deception please turn to your neighbor and help them understand this tell them tell your neighbor if you think it's already happened and if you think it is not now deception has already begun inside of you okay so it's very important he's saying let no one deceive you in any way okay because towards the end there is a deception about the return that is why from 2000 years ago they said what the return of the lord is very soon he's come jesus is coming soon now oh my god that soon means a lot more this year than any other years so that means that there is a spirit of deception that will make you feel not alarmed to act and to go closer to jesus be careful chances are you are part of the group that will be left behind please let me just say it you can hit me but it's better i say it and then we all together cry together and we we run after the lord can i hear an amen, amen. okay so he's saying that don't let deception for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first so what comes first before the rapture the rebellion okay in other words in another version it says the falling away and the man of lawlessness is revealed that's the antichrist the son of destruction and then it goes on to say how who opposes and exalts himself against every so called god or object of worship he takes his seat in the temple of god proclaiming himself to be god that happens in the 3 and 1/2 year that is when he breaks the covenant i told you seven year tribulation first three and a half is peace and safety is what they are going to be screaming and then the next three and a half is tribulation like it has never been seen ever before it is going to be terrifying but that three and a half year is broken by this guy he walking into the temple that he gave the jews he is going to be the one saying yeah yeah go ahead start the building and so they are all going to be so excited about this guy but then what he's going to do is three and a half years he is going to walk into that same temple and desecrate it he is going to bring objects of worship he is going to declare himself as god okay proclaiming himself to be god and he's going to demand people to take the image of the beast or the mark of the beast and he's going to force everyone to worship him that's when he said you cannot buy or sell without that mark so this this was it saying what before that return what two things have to happen what are the two things and the revealing of 
the antichrist so what is the falling away that means somebody who was standing is now falling you can't fall if you weren't standing that means he's talking about a certain group of believers the first falling away happened in heaven with lucifer okay one third of heaven they fell from the grace the second falling away you're seeing is in the garden of eden and this is referring to the third falling away where before the return of jesus guys full attention now before the return of jesus there is going to be a heavy demonic attack on the church that is going to cause people to turn against god I wish I can say this loud and 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 imprint this on your heart so that you will not be part of the falling away. Some of the ways that people will fall away is is you will start doubting God's goodness. I I feel like I'm 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 scratching on some wound but will you still permit me? Yes. Please. please this is a hard one and i don't want to be one of those cute preachers i want to give it to you raw i like like don't beat around the bush just tell me as it is if there is a danger just tell me there's a danger don't don't sugar coat it okay <laughs> so child of god you have to monitor your heart for any false grief When I'm talking to you about the return of the Lord Jesus and how the rapture is going to happen and it's imminent and how some of you look into your heart was there anger Oof, God was there a frustration where you felt that God is not fair was there fear trying to hijack you away saying you know what don't tell me about this I, i maybe i should skip church because i don't like this topic i'll come back in in two months when when the series is over if if any of those things happen i'm telling you child of god please hear me i'm i say this with love the enemy has already started working in your heart to qualify you to fall away from god because the deception is going to be you are going to feel that god is not fair that's the only way you can rebel against him i said be careful satan can hijack your grief you're thinking oh my son my daughter i i can't i can't i can't see them left behind hold on It's true we can't see anyone nobody should be left behind not just your family members nobody in this world should be left behind but the moment satan can start causing an an worldly grief inside of you where you now feel like you are responsible for their soul going to hell so now you're going to come to the presence of god and your heart is going to be filled with grief against god you start feeling why didn't god help me save my family members now you're thinking about rapture and you're no more able to be excited about it you are grieved by it now you don't feel like worshiping god anymore because your heart has now been hijacked by a grief from the enemy imagine god being such a loving god and yet one third of the angels left his church how angry should our god be such a loving god and yet adam and eve walked away from his presence how bitter should our god be he was his son and daughter chose satan over god how upset should he be every david has an absalom and every david has a solomon 
that's not your fault god is the best pastor in the church called heaven and yet two thirds of his angels left the church what wrong did the pastor do let them go make peace with that you are not their savior if the savior cannot help or if the if they wouldn't accept the savior why should they accept you why is it on you why are you carrying this grief trust the lord child of god protect your heart look at your neighbor and say protect your heart yes don't allow false condemnation if your family members did not choose your god it's not your fault your duty is to pray for your family members till the return of jesus that's all you cry for them you pray for them you love on them you be the christ they see when they see you they must see christ and some of them they will not see another christ other than you you will be the manifestation of jesus in their life now i want to give you something that is a revelation to your spirit that will help you be rooted is that good okay go on man of god verse 39 onwards and they were unaware until the flood came uh-huh. and swept them all away so will be the coming of the son of man okay so so one of the traits of the coming of the son of man is what they are unaware who is unaware the ones that are drunk the ones that are in the world very important information okay go on verse 40 then two men will be in the field one will be taken and one left aha uh-huh. two women will be grinding at the mill one will be taken and one left so after last week's teaching one of the most asked question is is there a point for me to go to college anymore for for those who want to know what is the point of us doing business what is the point of us working what is the point this is the point men of god one more time please then two men will be in the field aha uh-huh. one will be taken and one left so that means that they are not sleeping they're still working in the field so biblically you are not supposed to stop working until the rapture comes so for those who are saying oh maybe i maybe since jesus is coming i i, I just wait for his coming you know make like a cave in my basement and just fill it up with food and just stay there no 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 you didn't read your bible properly look at your neighbor and say don't stop working until the return of jesus so you're seeing same thing two women will be grinding at the mill so there's two people working outside and two people working inside so there are work that must be done inside that is the house of god and there is work that has to be continued outside that is in the world you still need to expand and extend the 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 sphere of your influence so work inside grinding inside meaning anything that has to be grinded these women is found what grinding what does the church do the church job is to grind everything that is not pleasing god so you the work continues in the house of god and the work must continue outside in the field <laughs> i was shocked at how many people wanted to know since i'm 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 not going to get married i'm telling you my singles are like having like a heart attack or something after last week pray for them okay so look at your neighbor and say relax and continue working go on men of god aha uh-huh. therefore stay awake aha uh-huh. for you do not know on what day the lord is coming aha uh-huh. but know this that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming he would have stayed awake and would not have left this house Please. his house be broken into let's 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 not 
interpret the scripture in a shallow way this god who wrote this who said this is a very he is the one who created intelligence so please don't read the verse and just read it shallow there's secrets hidden in that line read that one more time okay but know this uh-huh. that if the master of the house uh-huh. had known in what part of the night the thief was coming he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken okay. into okay so 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 one more time it's saying that the way the return of the lord is going to happen is you don't know his coming and then he goes on to give an example he's saying that if the master knew what part of the night the thief was coming he would have stayed awake everybody say he would have stayed awake and would not have let the thief come in correct is that logic clear yes. ah no no you're quiet now we pray and close talk to me did you get the logic right yes. jesus is saying if the master knew what part of the time the thief was coming he would have stayed awake and he would have not allowed the thief to break in okay keep that logic and next line okay therefore you also must be ready for the son of man whoa, 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 whoa. hold on hold on hold on therefore you too must be ready like what go to the words above like heart like what like the master who if you had stayed awake he wouldn't have allowed the thief to so when people say we will never know how jesus is going to come he's going to come like a thief in the night bro read the whole verse read the verse after read the verse before it's saying but you what you need to do he's ah oh my goodness my goodness he's saying yes the way the return of the lord is going to happen is it is going to be quick it is going to come out nowhere it is going to come in a shock suddenly all that is true and yet he's saying but you what you must be awake you must stay awake because if you stay awake you will not allow the thief to break in So when when the Bible says Jesus is coming like a thief in the night and Jesus is also saying what if you stay awake you will not allow him to come in like the thief that means you will know when he's coming yeah. Too hard for for traditional Christians to digest this word No 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 nobody will know but you're not reading it properly read it he said it Okay go on man I've got let, let's see what more Jesus has to say therefore you must also be ready so for everything this. is connected jesus is talking it's all connected don't don't interpret something by itself it's a chain of understanding so then he's saying who then is meaning i said something based on what i said i'm making another statement so it is a continuation okay who then is the faithful and wise servant uh-huh. whom his master has set over his household whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time who then is a faithful and wise servant the one who understands that god is looking for people that can be used by him to govern When we say this is a year of governance we are saying we are not saying that rapture is coming just sit down here we're going to be, we're going to be taken away anyway no 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 when you know you're going to be taken away and yet you become what kind of a servant so in this season do we just sit and wait for rapture no instead what do you have to be you have to be a faithful and a wise servant what do they do they set over his household to give them food at the proper time meaning that you're working hard to put food on the table and you're quiet okay go on blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes aha uh-huh. so when he comes you're not just saying jesus comes soon the world is too hard and this is too much hard work life is too difficult no you are still found working hard but 
But so what am I doing wrong? They're quiet. You are still found what? Working hard. Still found investing. Still found expanding. Still found governing. Child of God, this is not the time for us to rest. This is a time to expand. This is not the time for you to say, How? no, 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 I, I have to somehow get out of all this. No, 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 expand your investments. I'm going to show you to you some, some really in- interesting stuff. Oh my God. Continue, man of God. Yes. Truly I say to you, huh. he will set him over all his possessions. Yeah. So there is a time when God sees that you are a smart businessman. That you are a faithful and you are a wise investor. And he comes and he says, he will set him over all his possessions. That means governance is given to someone who is hardworking and who is faithful. If you're faithful in the little, when the master will come, he'll make you a ruler. Oof. That means there is a time when Jesus returns on earth for a thousand year reign. Where he will establish thrones. Not just throne. The word has an S in the end. He will establish thrones. God is looking for people that will be faithful in this season. Wise in this season. Hard working in this season. So that there is when the master comes. Oh my goodness. Can you see what I am seeing? Talk to me somebody. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. When? When his master comes. Our master is coming. So don't be discouraged. Maximize your investment in this season. I had pastors from around the world messaging me saying, what does this mean? Since the rapture is so close, what does it mean for us? How do we do? What do we do for the next 10 years? What must we do? What, what means you do for 5 years or whatever time is left? This is what you do. Be a wise servant. Be a faithful servant. Be a hardworking servant. Continue to put food on the table. Continue to expand. Continue to work on the field. Continue to grind inside. Continue to expand to the north, to the south to the east, to the west and the Bible says blessed are those who save souls for they shall shine like stars. Child of God, don't let the spirit of antichrist intimidate you to just lie down and die. Malcolm Bronte Saya. This is a season where we rise and shine. This is a season where you expand. This is a season we go to the ends of the world and the kingdom is established and the church grows. Hello, hello, greetings to you from Canada. My name is Tini Matthew, and I'm so glad we could meet you through this God TV program. I believe that the word has been like fire in your bones. Now allow the fire of God to take you to places and fulfill all the God-given assignments in your life. Thank you so much for following and partnering with us. Don't forget to download the Shaiju Matthew app, which is available both on iOS and Android. Until we meet again, God bless. Shalom. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 